Welcome to Park Avenue Spine. I'm Dr. Paul Salinas, and today's video blog will be about running injuries. As a New York City runner, there's five common injuries that you're going to see usually associated with either running on the hard surfaces of New York or improper shoe fitting. Most common conditions we see in my office are plantar fasciitis, iliotibial band syndrome, runner's knee, or otherwise known as chondromalacia patella, Achilles tendonitis, or shin splints. The question that a lot of runners have in my office is, well, how do you prevent these? Well, it's very hard in New York because you're running on hard surfaces like concrete or asphalt, and there's always the controversy of whether one is better than the other, and to be honest with you, it's very hard to tell. Both of them are really hard, although asphalt will be a little bit softer on the, on the joints. But some of the things that you can do to prevent these injuries would be one, getting your proper shoes fit for you, meaning shoes that are made specifically for your feet, for your conditions. There's different types of runners. There's pronators, there's supinators, there's neutral runners. So I highly recommend going to a professional that can set you up with sneakers that are specific for your type of running. Second, stretching is very important. Stretching can prevent injuries, can keep you healthy and keep you enjoying the running season as long as possible. Other things is running on cam uh, cambered surfaces or, or, or surfaces that are tilted. And also, one of the other things that I probably would avoid would be running without warming up. I mean, that's commonly you'll find thing you'll find more injuries that way where people will just run cold, especially in the winter months. But if you have more questions regarding these injuries, I'd highly recommend you visit us at www.parkavenuespine.com or send me an email at drsalinas at parkavenuespine.com. Thank you so much for visiting us at our video blog today, and I hope to see you in the future.